All right, so I thought I'd take a minute this evening to talk about uh, spanner nuts. So uh, this is a, a spanner nut here. If you have ever worked on heavy trucks or whatnot, you would know that like if you had like a hex nut of this size, it would be gigantic. So uh, as a solution to comp make things smaller, they've made spanner nuts uh, to do the job. So this is an SKF spanner wrench. These are Armstrong spanner wrenches. I got these used at flea markets or something. They are cheap that way. But if you want to buy one of these in a store, they're very expensive. I imagine the SKF one is worth quite a bit. So basically, if you're going to analyze one of these nuts to see what it is, to see if you can get the right tool for it, you're going to take a, uh, their metric as well, you're going to take a, uh, just a dial gauge and measure across, like bring your caliper, and you'll find out this is 80 millimeters across, then across the flats, it's 74 millimeter, and then if you wanted to check the uh, thread, you would check the, the stud. You put the uh, caliper across there, you'd find out it's an M60, and then you would use a, a thread pitch tool. That's a very big one there. That's uh, hard to read. It's like three threads per inch or something, a three and a half. So that's not metric, but you get the point. You use that one metric, one of those things to figure out what it is. But unfortunately, this uh, is not a common automotive size. And if you wanted to buy a socket like this from SKF, 600 American dollars for this thing. This other one here, like I paid like $5 each for these things. So that's a tough pill to swallow. So I guess uh, this is a bit of a rant because you can't get a spanner wrench onto a spanner nut when the nut is recessed uh, two inches into the hub, into the uh, wheel package, right? So uh, I'll have to find a solution for this. There are a couple OEM tool style spanner nuts available. They're 80 on the outside, but one is 80 by 76. So you'd be just kind of barely grabbing onto this. And then the other option is like 80 by 66 or something. So the uh, teeth on that nut are going to be like really deep. So with that you could try to file it down to make it work or you could try to use the big one and try to get by without uh, stripping this nut. The nuts are fairly inexpensive. They're only like 10 bucks or something. And then the uh, lock washer, a couple bucks. It's not a big deal. Uh, this one here says HK, which I suspect is a manufacturer. But the more important thing here is it's an AN12. So the, the 12 means it's an M60, and the AN is what particular style. I don't know if it tells you the thread pitch or what, because obviously you can get finer threads and whatnot. So you can, uh, basically, if you were to look up an AN12, I've lost track of thought here, an AN12 spanner nut, you can match it up to an SKF, uh, spanner uh, socket and it's going to cost you a fortune so but at least you can get the specs on the nut that'll tell you everything you need to know about it so that you can either make a tool or try to find the closest tool available so anyway I thought I'd just go on about that for a couple minutes this evening so hopefully you found that informative and thank you for watching